Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1985 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Brewers today is Brian Clutterbuck, whose record is 3-1 with a 5.82 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers is Dave Rosma, whose record is 2-3 with a 4.84 ERA. Okay, not only have we thrown back-to-back -back shutouts as a pitching staff, we actually have 23 consecutive scoreless innings by our pitchers. So uh, kind of an amazing run that we're on. I'm not sure if we've ever had uh, three shutouts in a row um, in any... Uh, I don't think I've ever done that with any iteration of a sim that I've played. Uh, but today we have an opportunity to do that, I suppose. Um, Dave Rosma is on the mound. He is pitching much better. He has dropped his e uh, individual ERA an entire run since we put him back uh, in the rotation. So he's going to face <coughs> excuse me, Brian Clutterbuck. Shut your mouth. Uh, and uh, this is going to be, um, you know, hopefully a decent game because uh, Clutterbuck's ERA is over almost, almost six. So either this is going to be a score fest or... Uh, maybe Baseball Mogul's got something else in mind. Now, in real life, uh, tomorrow is uh, 4th of July. I do not believe I will be doing a game tomorrow. So, on the 5th, we'll play game 3 of the series. And then on the 6th, we'll play the All-Star game. Uh, so, we have um, the All-Star game coming up later on this week. And then, don't forget, at the end of the month, we have the trade deadline which takes place uh, after the games on the 31st. So any trades that we want to get accomplished uh, have to be done before we start that game on the 31st. And I have a feeling, uh, we'll, you know, if we keep winning the way that we are, uh, I have a feeling uh, we'll be trying to improve our team. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I want to give a uh, shout out to, uh, I believe it was Tom Abbott, who uh, let me know in yesterday's game that he was the 500th subscriber. So I think he deserves a special shout out. So thank you, Tom, for subscribing to the channel. And as always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe. Stick around. We will have another giveaway during game 120. So we have a ways to go before we get there. This is game 86 today. Dave Rosma getting the start. You see his numbers. Everybody in the bullpen is back. It's nice having all the righties uh, active and pitching well. And then here's our lineup versus Clutterbuck, who is a right-hander. So we have our lineup in there versus righties. You'll see where Levy, lefty heavy is what I was trying to say. We'll give Eddie Milner another shot to play today. Kevin Bass does not hit righties well. So why not give Eddie Milner a back-to-back -back start? He had a nice double in yesterday's ball game. Willie Wilson is the only Tiger still listed as tired. And we're going to play him anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Brew Crew. They are in the same alignment as yesterday. Batting leadoff playing second base is Randy Reddy. Batting second at third base is Lenny Harris. Batting third in right field is Dante Bichette. Batting cleanup at first base is Mark McGuire. Batting fifth in catching is Rick Rona. Batting sixth at shortstop is Ernie Riles. Batting seventh in left field is Javier Ortiz. Batting eighth in center field is Bob Scooby. And batting ninth at DH is Vip Davis. Okay, Rosie, he is making his 12th start of the year. 2 and 3 with a 484 ERA, 34 strikeouts, and 87 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are betting 272 against him. He does have a save and a bluey, but no complete games. His fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour, ground ball percentage very high at 55%. He's got one good pitch left, that is the sinker. Overall rated a 79. The 28 year old righty is a free agent at the end of the year. He will not accept a trade to any team. So we are stuck with him, and that might be all right. Take a look here at his log. 
Since he came back into the rotation, he's given up one run, one run, one run, four runs, one run, and two runs, and zero were earned. So he's pitched pretty well, bringing that ERA down. Uh, actually, he brought it down uh, 1.25 runs. So good job by him. Let's take a look at our defense for today. Of course, the outfield is strong. As I mentioned, we have Milner getting another start in the left field. Infield looking good. At first base will be Brett today. Behind the plate is Terry Kennedy uh, getting a start at catcher. Okay, here we go. Randy Reddy leading it off against Dave Rosemore. Full count to Reddy. And Rosie induces a ground ball to Whitaker. There's out number one. Here is the unstoppable Lenny Harris. He's got to be an all-star candidate. Floats it out to right field. Now, he did go hitless yesterday, and he flies out to right. That gets his average under 360. Two quick outs. Here's Dante Bichette. Infield single. That's not great. Bichette does have better than average speed. And Brett technically not a first baseman, so I will allow that. And with Mark McGuire up, this is going to be tough. No one count to McGuire. Brown ball to Larkin. And he makes the play. So we get out of the inning, go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a closer look at our lineup for today. Betting leadoff at shortstop is Barry Larkin. Betting second. At first base is George Brett. Betting third at second base is Blue Whitaker. Betting cleanup and catching is Terry Kennedy. Betting fifth in right field is Jim Eisenreich. Betting sixth in DHing is Mark Ryle. Betting seventh at third base is Mike Pagliarulo. Betting eighth in left field is Eddie Milner. And betting ninth in center field is Willie Wilson. Ryan Clutterbuck, shut your mouth. He is making his sixth start. Three and one with a five. <laughs> I don't know why I say shut your mouth every time. I mean, it just looks like a swear word, right? That's my only justification for <laughs> just <laughs> making that up every time uh, I say his name. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, three and one. 582 ERA, 32 strikeouts in 65 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 292. Uh, he's pitched in relief, and in fact, he does have a save, just like Rosie does. His fastball topping out at 91 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. Two good pitches, a changeup rated an 85, and a fastball rated an 82. Overall rated an 83. The 25-year-old right-hander is arbitration eligible at the end of the 87 season. Now, we faced him as a starter on the 25th and we beat him he gave up five runs on eight hits and only four and two third innings walking three and you can see we faced him in relief where we had some success every time but one he went four and a third against us way back on may 4th in relief and did not give up a run okay we'll take a look at the very sad defense for the brewers the outfield is no good the infield is average at best. Behind the plates, Rick Rona. He's pretty solid. Okay, here we go. Barry Larkin leading it off. Versus Ryan C. 1-1 <laughs> count. Barry Larkin with the ground ball to short. There we go. Larkin's average down to 295. One out. Here's George Brett trying to get to 2,000. Hits, that is. Rounding out the second. Two quick outs for Clutterbuck. Whitaker's not having any of it. Base hit into right center field, and he stretches it into a double. It would be great if we could get Whitaker going. That is his 10th double of the year. Look at his log. He's batting 181 in his last 20 games. He was batting 247. Uh, when these 20 games started. Okay, Whitaker in scoring position for TK. 
Kennedy, he's got to be our representative. He was in the uh, All-Star game last year. That's going all the way to left center field. Get down. Off the wall. Oh, no, it's going to be caught. That was deceptive. I don't like that at all. We go to the top of the second inning. Here is Rick Rona leading off. By the way, that's 24 innings in a row. Tigers, have, pitchers have not given up a run. And Rosie strikes out Rona. Roseman, not a strikeout pitcher, absolutely a pitch to contact type of guy. Line drive to center, that's going to fall in for him. He'll give up a lot of hits. But potentially a lot of double plays as well. Let's see if Riles will be running. Tigers threw out three or four batters yesterday. It was Barry Hill behind the plate, though. And when those caught stealings happened, um, there's only a fourth out at second there. That's kind of when I knew we were probably going to win that ball game. Scooby, 3-1 count. And there goes the score of the streak. Scooby does. His seventh home run, right center field, 2 nothing Milwaukee. Okay, well, we'll start a new streak. Dick Davis, base hit. That's four hits against Roseman. Third one this inning. These are all bad signs. You could not get that double play, and that opened the door for that home run. That is the one way we miss Alan Trammell. With Whitaker and Trammell... I mean, it was a guarantee, practically. With Larkin being so young, he's still got some time to develop. He's just not there. Okay, Jimmy Eyes leading off. That was Freddie's suggestion for a nickname, and I like it. Jimmy Eyes. Popping it up. One out. Mark Ryle in there, DHing. He's three for ten on the season. Popping it up to third. Two quick outs and Pags hits a ground ball to shoot. I mean, this is one of those games where there's no reason for Clutterbuck to pitch well. Uh, we just have to hang in there. We'll get our runs sooner or later. I guess the question is how long will Dave Rosemar last? Lenny Harris popping it up. Another out for Harris. One down. Dante Bichette popping it up. Will there be a two-out rally? Usually is. Now, uh, Rosie, a 55% ground ball pitcher, just threw three pop-ups. I, I don't really care how they get him out. But again, this goes to show you just how terrible this game is. Uh, and inaccurate with his own ratings. We'll take the one, two, three inning, go to the bottom of the third. Tigers are down a couple of runs, and Eddie Milner will lead it off. The ground ball to short. We cannot get anything going against Clutterbuck. There's a blooper. Get down. Base hit for Wilson. We'll take that single. Remember, we're not choosing any offensive options. We're just pushing the button. And we're three and one so far doing that. Larkin striking out. First victim for Brian C. And Brett. Uh, Brett has lost the power stroke. Why is that the right? Rosie's had 50 pitches through three innings as Rona leads off. He struck out the first time up. Ground ball to Lou. One out. Riles, a line drive. Wilson making the catch. I take a, I took a look at uh, Glenn Wilson. You might remember we traded him right after the season started. He's still down in AAA. So um, there's, a, there's a two out rally for the Brew Crew. Um, I just kind of wondered, like, is he playing for California or not? And he's in AAA. Scooby, yeah. I mean, they're going to get a bunch of runs here. There's nothing we can do to stop it. It's all two outs. There's a comebacker. Error? Oh, we did get out of here. We go to the bottom of the fork. All right, let's get going here, Lou. Lou's got one of the two hits. He pops it up to second. 
One out. TK is gapping it. All the way to the wall in left center field. We'll take that double. That is Kennedy's 18th double of the year. Look at that. 30 extra base hits. He's probably going to be our only all-star. The only other option would be maybe Dave Smith, but for whatever the reason, the uh, AI that controls um, all the voting for the All-Star game doesn't ever really include anyone with starting pitchers. Eisenreich lining out the center. Oh, Kennedy will tag on his own and go to third. Let's see if we can get him in with Mark Ryle. Oh, Mark Ryle! Two-run home run! Left field, a schlep coming through. The first career home run for Mark Ryle. He goes Apple Taco. And then we're tied at two. I had a good feeling we were going to get to Clutterbuck sooner or later. Now the question becomes, can we get into the fifth inning with Rosie? Not into it, but through it, out the other side, at least be tied. Ready, line drive to the left. Milner will make the catch. Okay, we've had good control over Harris today. There's a ground ball to third. Mikey Peggs throwing him out. Two down, and here is Dante Bichette. Rips it in the left. That's a double to the wall. All right. Do we take our chances with Rosie pitching to McGuire, or do we intentionally walk him to get to Rona? Rona has struck out once. I'd like to think McGuire is a strikeout candidate. Certainly could hit a two-run home run as well. I guess we're just going to we're gonna let him pitch to, to McGuire. If it's going to happen, there's nothing we could do to stop it anyway. There's a ground ball to Lou. Error? Yeah. Good job by Rosie. Giving us five uh, solid innings. That's about all we can ask for from Rosema. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and Eddie Milner leading it off, popping it up. On the third baseline, caught by the catcher. Says behind home plate, but my eyes are working. That was in front. Wilson with his second hit. He's not that tired. A 90% chance to go to second. We, we are not falling for that. We don't need to. Because either, you know, we're going to get the rally anyway, or we were going to get thrown out. So... You know, baseball moguls programming, <laughs> excuse me, um, doesn't really make a difference. Oh, that's a ridiculous double play, though. 3-6-3 three, three with <laughs> Wilson and Larkin running. And Mark McGuire started that play. That, that doesn't seem to make any sense. Okay, Rona at the plate to face Rosie. Um... We're going to go one by one here, keeping him on a short leash. Oh, fudge. One pitch, too many. We're going to bring in the Creeper to face Ernie Riles. Uh, uh, yeah, to face Ernie Riles, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, left-handed pitcher. He's not good. But we got to have somebody to get a lefty out. You know, here's the annoying thing about that. Is uh, Rosie did not give up a home run to Bichette or McGuire, but they gave up a home run to a career backup catcher. That's stupid. Ernie Riles grounding out the second. Facing Javier Ortiz. With the line drive base hit past the glove of Whitaker. Runner on first. This is the last batter for Gibson. It's Bob Scooby. The comebacker. The creeper goes to second. Could not turn the double play. So 
So Gibson comes out. In comes Carl. Watch out for the zombies, Carl. Bob Scooby thrown out stealing on a 77 mile an hour changer. Okay, well, that's stupid. Um, I also think that maybe that's a good sign for us. We'll see. Clutterbuck only at 61 pitches has not walked anybody. Because why would the game do something right? No good reason. Brett's out again. Whitaker flies out the center. Yeah, Clutterbuck having the game of his life. TK goes to left field. Eisenreich 0 for 2 today. Oh man, he just missed that one. Okay. 3 to 2, top of the seventh inning. Willis was facing Dick Davis. And he gets him this time. Line out the first. Randy Reddy. I'm ready, ready, ready. As SpongeBob would say. Two down. In comes Shiatsi. It's going to face Lenny Harris. Harris having an couple off games in a row. There's the uh, in-game stats. Tigers have only struck out one batter. There we go. There's the second strikeout of the game. Rick Rona was the other one. It's just that's why you can't see it there. And we've only struck out one time. Okay, bottom of the seventh inning. Here's Mark Ryle. He's gone deep once today. Can he have a double dong day? No. Nope. Ground ball to first. One out. Ground ball to first. How many are... Uh, is it going to be all ground out to first? That's the way the game's designed. Well, ground out to second. Great job, baseball mogul. Good programming. All right, Shotzi coming out. We got the healthy guys. Oh, man. I guess we're going to give it to Montgomery because he's pitched the least of the three in innings pitched. Let's see how he does versus Bichette. Bichette stings it to right. One out. This is all the makings of another one-run game. Walks McGuire. Of course he does. Rick Rona, ground ball up the middle. Double play. Nice. Tigers are down to their final six outs. That's not looking good. I would have thought for sure that we would clobber Clutterbuck. That was a walk from Clutterbuck. That's his first of the game. Larkin's on first. George Brett. He is a double play candidate. Can't do anything else. Well, at least he's only going to count for one out. Okay, Lou. We could use a two-run homer right now. No. Nope. Unbelievable. Only six hits for the Tigers today. It's an abomination. Uh, I mean, we're going to play to win. We're going to we'll bring him out, uh, take him out, bring in our last lefty in the pen. Keith Comstock, how many games has he pitched in? His 42nd appearance. 22 strikeouts in 23 innings pitched. Oh, come on. Why does this game have to blow chunks? In comes Dave Smith. It don't matter. There was never anything we would do going to be able to do about it. Oh, Gorman Thomas pinch hitting. Must have came in as a defensive replacement. Storming Gorman pops out. Five to two. Yep, this game was over before it started. We know that now. It 
So Smith gives up another run. He has been anything but perfect this year. And they're not going to bring in a guy for a save. They're going to let Brian Clutterbuck at 89 pitches. Try to wrap it up. Are they going to give us some junk runs? Yeah, I guess they are. So they're going to give us like two junk runs. We will not win the game. That's a 19th double for Kennedy. Eisenreich hits it to the absolute wrong bag. Ryle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tigers lose five to two. Brian Clutterbuck pitches a complete game. Uh, no trade offers. We're going to take a look at the standings. There's the National League if you need it. Four-game winning streak for the Cubbies. The West is done. American League, we are now... No, we're still three games back as Boston continues to lose. The Yankees are really making a run right now. They're only one and a half back. Of course, that had to happen. Um, Cleveland is five back. Every, oh, everybody important loses, except for the Yankees in this go around. Um, five and a half for Chicago. Texas has won five in a row, somehow. All right, let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball, did we? New York defeats Baltimore. Jack Morris, starting pitcher for the 1985 All-Star Game. And Paul Moscow sucks the pipe. He's going to be out for a little bit. Transactions. Let's see here. Len Barker done for the season. He went 7-7. Seven and seven. Not a bad year for, I think in real life it was his last year. 85. Paul Moscow is just going to miss two weeks. It was headline news, but two weeks. Oh, we're gonna. I got, we got to look and see who Minnesota thinks they're gonna pitch. Oh, Ray Smith. Seattle just traded for Ray Smith, <laughs> and he went one for seven with a home run. And uh, maybe he'll be back in time for the playoffs if they make it. Oh, Seattle, that sucks. Paul Abbott, minor leaguer. Um, <laughs> oh, well, I guess Butch Weiniger back to being the everyday starter. Let's take a look at Minnesota. Let's see how sad that rotation is. Chuck Randy getting called up. He went 7 and 13 last year with a 6 plus ERA. So he'll get a shot. Oh, in fact, he gets the next shot. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, another ridiculous loss, one that, I mean, how do we lose to Clutterbuck? I don't know. It's, doesn't make any sense. Uh, we're not a good team, though. Mark Ryle, if it wasn't for a triple-A call-up hitting the two-run home run, we would have lost even bigger. Uh... Kennedy with two doubles, probably the player of the game. Dave Rosema did not pitch horrible. Um, he takes the loss. Two and four. Bullpen. I mean, they did what the bullpen does when the, in games like this. They give up runs because they had to. Clutterbuck gets the win. He, he had to. Could he get his ERA down from 582 to 535? Okay, that was another moguling from Baseball Mogul. Now, I believe we're going to take tomorrow off. It is um, 4th of July. So I will see you all on the other side. I hope you all come back with your uh, fingers and toes. Be careful out there, and uh, we'll see you on Friday. Until then, everyone, have a great day.